Hello, welcome hackers. Today we have got something special to you. Uh, this is the little introduction about Kali Linux new version. So the new version called 2023.4. This is the new release, um, which is released by last 5th of November. So I have got very little introduction, what we can do with the, 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 this new version, what are the new tools in this version and uh, how we can play with this. So as you can see, this is the change log. This is the summary of the new release. Uh, it supported Cloud ARM64 versions, version Hyper-V, as well as the Raspberry Pi. As you know, this is the Raspberry Pi new, newly released version. So, and this is one of the most uh, exciting one. It's Genome 45, which is the um, latest and greatest desktop experience, which you can ever see in the um, Linux version. So as well as the internal infrastructure updates, and we do have some exciting new tools. So when we go one by one, you can see the Cloud ARM64 market. So when you're in AWS or the Azure Cloud, so you can see this one on marketplaces and it is saying version Hyper-V support, which means so when you build the VM scripts, it is support for Hyper-V virtual machines and stuff. So if you want to dig in deeper, you can read this article in here and quick review on Raspberry Pi 5 which is the newly released version, you can directly download the Raspberry Pi 5 compatible version and install it. And when it's go to the genome version 45, this is the latest genome version, which is supported by Kali. And I will show you in this video how we can install the genome 45 version in new Kali Linux because it is natively comes with native XFC version so but we can upgrade with the new version so we'll show you and this is one of the interesting things so you can move within the applications using this small slider which is kind of a Mac feeling you can get um, and you will have some internal infrastructure updates. So if you want to have a look, you can go through this para. And you will have 15 new tools in here, like Cabby and XFIL Looter, H8 email, like new tools. So you can install those tools and you can get hands-on practice and you can practice those tools. So and you will have community package and miscellaneous. And especially if you're running you, the Kali Linux on your Android mobiles, here you have new update for your NetHunter version. So you can go through each link and you can read through that. And um, update also here. So some updates on their website as well. They're saying like they do update the documentation and frequently ask questions in their website. So pretty much um, housekeeping things and uh, community shout outs. They are thank for some community contributors. So one of the famous person over here, David Bombal, you can see. And there are two new mirrors, which is in Japan and Serbia. If you're near those countries, especially in Japan or Asia or near the Serbia, you can have now fastest service to download the Kali Linux. So the next one is Kali Team Discord Chat. You can have further details in here, the Discord Chat and contact with them. Also, this is the important part. If you are with the 2023.3 version, which means older version, you can simply follow these steps and you can upgrade your dot three version into dot four version so once you upgrade it to the new one you can check your version using this command grep version etc os release so then after that you can see the version details and kernel details over here so 
this is pretty much it about the introduction so if you want to download the Kali Linux you just have to navigate the regular place just go to the Kali Linux website and hit the download button when you goes down you can see pre-built VM is there ISO is there so in this case I'm using Oracle VM virtual box and I have already downloaded my pre-built VM for the Oracle virtual box which is this one so let's move to the downloaded content so once you download it and extract the dot seven zip file you will have these two files so what you have to do is simply double click this version over here if you want to adjust some settings before you start the vm you can adjust it from here for example if you want to increase the ram increase your processes or if you want to add some storage you can do it here so after that you can simply click ok and hit the start button within few seconds it will turn up the new vm machine so we just have to wait a little bit i will close this window In here you can enter press enter yep it is taking little time and it will boot up instantly we'll minimize this which we can see this one very clear now just booting up the Kali VM now there we are default username and password is Kali you can hit enter and go inside the Kali VM just take the terminal and we'll check the OS version as you can see this is the 2023.4 version so let's say if you need to upgrade this version into genome 45 simple thing you just have to say just like one command but before i do that i will update the um Kalini version you can use simple command sudo apd update and hit enter enter the password which is Kali. I'm using default password in this example so in your case the password may be very to you we just have to wait until the update has been completed once it completed you can see you can enter this command sudo apt install Kali desktop genome this is the command which you have to enter in order to install the genome version 45 and press enter say yes and yeah simply you just have to wait until the installation finish all right we're almost done and you have to press ok and use gdm3 version not light dm just use gdm3 version for the default display again it's progressing so we just have to wait until this has been done then after that we need to do the restart our vm then we are good to go so maybe i will fast forward this video there we are we are done with the installation now we just have to simply reboot our Kali VM you can use the command reboot and press enter and it will reboot your virtual machine instantly once it come up it will come up with the genome version 45 which is the latest version in genome we are almost there as you can see everything has been changed this is the new graphical user interface 
I will enter my password and we are inside the VM. So yeah, as you can see, this is the new feature. And as you remember, this is the little icon which you can navigate through the applications. And we do have a nice menu over here. And we do have some sort of new desktop backgrounds as well. Nice. So this is the new version, new features and new tools which you can test in your lab environment. So I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any questions, anything, please leave a comment in the comment section. We'll catch up with next video. Thank you.